So in this example, we are given u, which is equal to 4 comma negative 3, and w, which is given as 3 comma 4. And they're saying find u dot v, and then determine the angle between u and, what am I doing, v, w, u and w, and then find the angle. All right? So the first thing, ladies and gentlemen, we need to remember the dot product. Right? Remember the dot product between any two angles is going to be u1 um, times u2 plus, that's not going to be an angle, I'm sorry, it's a scalar, plus um, w, I'm sorry, what am I doing? That is going to be w1 plus u2 times w2. All right, so we need to say, all right, if this is u, then this would be u1, u2. This would be w1, w2. So this is going to be a scalar. Make sure it's not a vector. So what we have here is then 4 times 3 plus negative 3 times 4, which equals 12 plus 12, which equals 0. All right, then if you remember the angle, between two vectors is the cosine of theta equals u dot v over the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. Now, in case you guys forgot how to do the magnitude, I'll show you. I'm not going to compute them, though, because we already know that the dot product of these two vectors gives us what? 0. So anything divided by 0 is still going to be 0, right? But I'll just show you again how to do the magnitude. If you guys remember, the magnitude of vector u is equal to the square root of u1 squared plus u2 squared, right? And the magnitude of w is equal to the square root of w1 squared plus w2 squared, all right? So remember that if we wanted to find the magnitude, that's what we'd have to do, and then we multiply them together. But since we already have 0, we know that this is going to be um, product. So therefore, I have to find the angle, I have cosine of theta equals, um, equals 0. So therefore, theta equals cosine, inverse cosine of 0. And does anybody know what the inverse cosine of 0 is going to be? Or what happens when our dot product equals 0 from our test? We have vectors that are rhymes with orthogonal. Orthogonal, which rhymes with perpendicular. Perpendicular lines, right. Because now they intersect at a 90 degree angle. So therefore, we know we're going to have perpendicular lines or orthogonal. Okay.